Baseball's dying. This year's World Series had the lowest ratings ever. So today, I'll be asking complete strangers to play catch with me and trying to get them more interested in baseball. Now, I'm socially awkward, so this is completely out of my comfort zone, but that doesn't matter. Excuse me, sir, I'm doing a video about baseball. No, thanks, okay. Turns out it's a lot harder than I thought, but then I met Raymond. Uh, I have an extra glove, would you, and a ball, would you play catch with me? Yeah, sure. Yeah? yeah. Awesome. It's been a long time, though. Long time. Oh, you're good. I play professional baseball. Or Really? Convincing people to play catch was the first step to solving this baseball problem, but I wanted to know why people aren't playing the game anymore. I just got hit by a ball and it was pretty hard, so I stopped playing baseball because I was scared. But a recent rule change actually brought him back to the game. It's like timing for the pitcher yeah. and like everything is like um, faster. Now remember, the goal of this challenge is to get people into baseball, not just convince them to play catch with me. So I went to Dick's before this and bought 10 gloves to give away to everyone who says yes. That's actually for you. Oh, thank you yeah, very much. I don't know if you have a glove or not, but I'm no, trying to get people back into baseball. it's been like so long. One glove down, nine to go. I'm at the zoo. My goal is to play catch with a monkey. What do you think about the state of post-game spreads in MLB? Oh, look at his finger. He's flipping us off. That's how I feel. After getting flipped off by an orangutan, I gave up on my initial goal, but there were plenty of others to ask the important questions about baseball. If you were to pick one MLB team, who would you be a fan of? Detroit? Number 18, you even have a number. You have to be a baseball fan. Are you a baseball fan? After striking out with everyone else, I bumped into a Canadian riding around on this rhino and tried my luck. Excuse me, sir. For this puppy. Would you like to have a catch? What's that, sir? Would you like to have a catch? A baseball glove, baseball? Would you like to play catch? Sure. Awesome. This is Stu, and he's from Canada, but he's not much of a baseball fan. Oh, no, I'm not a fan. I just don't know that much about it, I guess. Ah, uh, okay. Well, what about his playing career? Ah, uh, beer league, one season. I love this guy. And what's his favorite team? Toronto Blue Jays. Our only, our only team, so. That's a proud Canadian right there. If you were going to get into baseball, what would it take? Faster pace? More time, I guess. <laughs> more time. I need to learn the rules more. I just always want to be a part of the play. I guess that's the hardest part about it. And to do that, Stu needs a glove. That glove is actually for you to keep. Oh, no way. I'm Trevor. I need to get to my next spot, and luckily, he had me covered. Got room for one more if you still want to go to Aspen. Let's do it. Trade to the van straight up. 70 miles to the gallon on this dog. After trying the new ride service Rhino, I realized Aspen wouldn't be the right call. So I called for an Uber instead. How's it going? We're actually doing a video about baseball. Would you like to be involved in it? Like on camera? Yeah. Thank you, have a good one. Failure is not an option. I need to grow baseball. And to do that, I need an Uber driver. So I'm gonna keep calling Ubers until I convince someone to play catch with me. This is Glenn, and he's really into soccer. But after I convinced him to subscribe to my channel, Oh, uh, it's Trevor, Trevor Bauer. He was down to answer some questions about baseball. What is it about baseball that doesn't appeal to you? You have time, because the time is much precious. <laughs> Maybe I understand much other sports than uh, baseball. You understand it more. I have a, a, a glove and a ball. Would you play catch with me really quick? Yes. You just try? Have you ever caught a baseball before? No. Never caught one? Never. Here we go. Oh. Hey, <laughs> good first oh. one. I can't remember a time I've played catch with someone who had never played baseball before. Ah, oh, close. And I've been playing for 30 years. Try this time, so glove out in front, so you can see the ball coming and yeah. the glove at the same time. Okay. Ah. ah. <laughs> Seeing the joy Glenn got just from successfully catching the ball. Oh. Hey, there we go, <laughs> nice. Reminds me of what got me into the game in the first place. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, nice. Very, <laughs> you're natural. No supplements. <laughs> <laughs> All natural. I love it. This glove is for you. Oh, thank gift, you. Gift this for you. Gift? gift for you. Oh. Yeah. Thank Maybe you. get you into baseball that you can practice some. Consider baseball grown one person. Next up is the arcade. While I was looking for a person to play catch with, I stumbled upon this baseball game. So I tried to set a high score. I was made for this game. Or this game was made for me, actually. This game sucks. We found Dominic, who has actually already subscribed to my YouTube channel. Be more like Dominic, hit subscribe. Anyway, he's a big Padres fan from California, but his favorite player might just surprise you. Hassan Kim, love him in San Diego. Hassan Kim, you Darvish, all of those guys. Awesome, we have a real life, big time baseball fan here. So why wasn't he drawn into playing baseball? 
I used to get bored. I'd always get stuck in the outfield. I didn't like <laughs> being all bored out there. I'm terrible at hitting. Dude, me too. I cannot hit to save my life. What would have to change about baseball for you to like get into playing it? I, I started getting into it, but you know, in my free time, I'll play basketball. It's not anything wrong with baseball. I like watching, but there's too much stuff in the day. Sounds like baseball just wasn't interesting enough to be a priority, and Dominic chose other things. I hope to change that just a little bit and gave Dominic his glove. And that glove is actually for you, to keep. Yeah, Thanks that's so for you, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Time for a curveball. I'm looking for a parent whose kid is really into baseball, but never played the game themselves. Have you ever played baseball? Nope. Would you be interested in being in a YouTube video that I'm filming? Play catch for a couple minutes, answer some questions? That's it. Sure. Cool. You said you've never played baseball. How'd your son get into baseball? When he was three or four, we were just looking at the different sports to kind of start your kids at, signed him up for t-ball and just never looked back. Very similar to my dad. My dad never played baseball. I just loved it. So we kind of like bonded over baseball. And like our other son, he tried it and he was just, he was bored. So, you know, we moved on to other sports. When you're little, there's a lot of failure in baseball. So you get up, you hit, you don't hit. You know, you don't get up again for a while. That might not work for some kids. Why didn't you get into baseball as a kid? I was born in 76, so back in the 70s, early 80s, club sports out here wasn't as big of a deal. If your parents don't sign you up, you don't do it. Yeah, right. that makes sense. So that was kind of the deal. Um, baseball participation among youth is down 25% since 2008. And Wayne makes a great point. Maybe it's because parents just aren't loving the game anymore. So I gave him a glove to solve that problem. Well, that glove is actually for you. What? Um, yeah, what? we're trying to get people into baseball. Oh, thanks, man and it was on to the next spot. This is The Thumb, a famous gas station here in Phoenix, but it's not famous for its gas. It's been featured on Food Network's Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives for its barbecue. So I had to try their signature brisket sandwich. Can I get an eat? Trevor. While I was ordering, I noticed one of the cooks had a White Sox hat on, and I had some questions. Like, what do you like about baseball? Like, just the atmosphere, the whole stadium, the crowd's cheering. I have an extra glove here. Would you, uh, would you like to play catch? I would. Oh, awesome. Last time he played baseball was in high school. Played it since I was small, t-ball. I was playing junior leagues, and I almost had a no-hitter. It's always been part of your life. Yes, sir. Yeah. Always been, still is. What do you think baseball could do to make it more entertaining for people? I don't know if you follow like basketball or not, but I like that idea of the in-season tournament. Um, I also, not a really big fan of the pitch clock. Wish they would go back to not having that. So Raymond rediscovered his love for baseball because of the pitch clock but Enrique loves baseball and wants the pitch clock gone. And that's the dilemma baseball is facing. Rule changes that can attract new fans might upset current fans. I gave Enrique his glove. This is actually for you. Really? Yeah, uh, you can keep that. I appreciate um, that. And it was time for one of the most challenging locations of this entire video. Some of you might not know this, but I am a nerd. Where do nerds hang out? The library. So I'm here to see if anyone else is here that's like me that might want to play baseball. I figured the best place to start was the baseball section. Ugh. The World Series book only goes to 2003. I'm not in it. Coaching softball, technical and tactical skills. Maybe I can learn how to pitch softball. Maybe that's my next thing. Unsurprisingly, there was no one there, but I did find this book. The Zen of building the best team in baseball and breaking the curse. I'm definitely in this one. This is painful. That's my high school teammate. He threw the last pitch for the Cubs in the World Series, and I threw the last pitch for the Indians in the World Series. So I pitched game five. I heard that the Cubs were doing a show and go, and they were all getting to the field less than an hour before the game. They're just gonna show up with their uniforms on and play. We were up 3 1 at the time. Right here. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, we better win the night, because if we don't win the night, we're gonna lose. Sure enough, we stranded like 12 people in scoring position that game. Left side, here comes Rizzo. No plan to put everybody's safe. Lost three to two. 16, struck him out. That will be a game six. And then we lost game six, and then we lost game seven. And it all comes back to this type of crap. And all those sports announcers are like, oh, it's the last game of your season. Wouldn't you want to get here and get prepared? I'm like, we're fucked if we don't win this game. There I am, one of the most ferocious hooks in the game. Thank you, Tom Berducci. Okay, time to find someone to play catch with. How about this guy? Want to play catch for a bit? Um, I was kind of chilling. 
so that's a no. And after politely approaching a few others, I met Gabriel by the printer and asked him the critical question. Yeah, I'm down, but I'm just not a baseball fan. That's perfect. So we headed outside and started playing catch. He's a basketball fan, so I asked him why he doesn't like baseball. I know you love baseball, but I would say watching baseball is like boring. Yeah. But actually like, like in the act of playing baseball, it's pretty fun. Gabriel told me he doesn't feel like baseball connects with modern culture as well as other sports do. I'm into fashion, I'm into music too. Like, have you seen Devin Booker? He's known for fashion too, like his clothes, his aesthetic, and yeah, like, yeah. Uh, his cars, his collection. I feel like the NBA does a great job of blending like music culture, pop culture and sports. And baseball's like not that way at all. We played catch and chatted for about 15 minutes and had a blast. That, so that glove's actually for you. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, for sure, I'll take the ball from you. <laughs> but uh, actually you can keep the ball if you wanna play. Cool. I thought Gabriel had really enjoyed playing catch, so I thought the ball was better off with him. There will be no barriers to enjoying baseball, <sighs> damn it. For the next 24 hours, I'm signing every single Bauer outage snapback that's purchased at trevorbauer.com. Click the link in the description to get yours today. Gabriel has me thinking, what other sports have grown in popularity? Top golf, and it's blowing up, but I just don't get it. Oh my goodness, I'm there, yeah. not here. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay, I kind of get it now, but we're here to get people into baseball. Meet Tony. Tony isn't a baseball fan right now, but he can see it in his future. So I think once I go to a game and get that really, that fan experience of it, I think I'll fall in love with the game more. I find it interesting with the, um, when it's three, two runs and it's that last inning, you're trying to get the yeah. last out, I find that pretty intense. Yeah, that, that. So that's another person that wants more excitement to really get into baseball. But he's never played, so perhaps this experience and a glove will help him get so into much. it. And that glove's actually for you. All right. Hope, hope to get you into, into baseball more. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Eight down and only two to go. I'm here at America's Pastime. Pickleball, which is the fastest growing sport in America. Obviously baseball isn't. Let's find out why. And that would be easy because this place was packed. Uh, I feel like I'm in the way no matter where I go. I mean, look at this. It's a random Wednesday night and this place is full of people from all different age groups. And after sharing that there's no way he could watch a full nine innings of baseball, this gentleman said he'd talk to me about it. Have you ever played baseball? I have, I played baseball uh, all, all the way through high school. What is baseball doing wrong right now? These pickleball courts are so full Right. And those baseball fields are empty. I think pickleball is, is an easier game to master and learn. More people can play pickleball. For me, I would love to play baseball at my age, but I have too many injuries, so I cannot uh, play okay. baseball. So, so this is something that any age group can pick up and succeed at fairly quickly. Exactly. Do you watch baseball still? Are you I a baseball do. I fan? Watch, I watch baseball all the time. I watch okay. the Diamondbacks. Will you watch pickleball on TV or not? I watch pickleball all the time. I More watch than baseball? I do. Only wow. Because... And before I could even ask him to play catch, pickleball dealt baseball another devastating blow. I'm a pitcher. I'm I think a pro. I have to go play, so. Okay, oh. yeah, awesome. Okay. So Thank you very give much. me in just a minute. I... Strike one for me. Maybe I can tempt these guys. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't do it. No? No, anyone? I'm good, man. Anyone else? Okay, all right. Nope. Strike two. Last chance to grow baseball at the pickleball court. Are you a baseball fan? No. I don't, I don't really keep up with any sports, like watching, I guess. He's perfect. I played baseball, I think the last time I played was like Little League when I was like maybe six. I got hit by a pitch and my finger's still a little bit. Oh, really? Messed up. So if he doesn't like sports, what is it about pickleball that he does like? Yeah, because it's a social sport. You know, to even be able to hit a baseball, you probably have to put like real serious practice. Pickleball, you might score a few points here and there, so it's like a lot easier to have competitive game. I have an extra glove with me. Would you play catch with me for a couple throws? Yeah, why not? Sweet. Even though James doesn't like sports, we enjoyed a nice game of catch, and he seemed super interested in being part of our next video. That shit would be fucking, honestly, fucking scary. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe not. And more importantly, I'm hungry. It's been a long day and I haven't eaten anything, so we're gonna get some Domino's. See if the Domino's delivery person wants to play catch. You don't like ham and pineapple pizza? I, no. What is wrong with you? And I will not stop ordering pizzas until I make that hey. happen. How's it going? Hey, uh, there wasn't a tip on the card. You want to leave a tip on the card at all? Uh, I was going to do cash, but I have a question for you. Yeah. It would be great if I could ask you a couple questions about baseball. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Okay, great. We have our delivery man. What could baseball do to earn your fandom? Uh, lower the prices probably at the stadium. Yeah. And like have free beers, you know. And <laughs> <laughs> I have a tip here for you. Oh, I appreciate that. Um, I also have an extra glove. Mm -hmm. 
Will you play cash with me for a couple throws? No, I got to get back to work. I you sure? It. Yeah, okay. I appreciate it. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good one. Thank you. That is incredibly, incredibly disappointing. I was sure we had that one. That was like having a four run lead in the ninth and giving up a five run home run. Like impossible. And yet somehow it happened. Uber Eats never lets me down, ever. I've placed like 150 orders on Uber Eats this year. This is us, yes. Trevor? I am Trevor, what's your name? Alma. Alma, can I ask you a question? Sure. And I was hoping that you would play catch with me. I have a glove, a ball. This is a baseball training facility. Okay, I have three kids in the car. You have three kids in the car. <laughs> I do. They can come in if they'd like. How's it going, guys? I'm Trevor. What's your name? Ernan. Nice to meet you, Ernan. What's your name? Fabian. Fabian, nice. You're a Bears fan. Hello. Oh, baby Yoda. Hi. <laughs> Come on in. Awesome. Let me show you guys around. When I set out on this mission, I never anticipated having an entire family here talking about baseball. And after a brief tour of the facility, it was time for the important questions. Is she a baseball fan? Grew up a Cubs fan. Then okay. I met my husband and... Switched? Southside. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Were you a Cubs fan in 2016 or were you already a White Sox fan? I was a Cubs fan. Okay. Becoming a Sox fan. Okay. I jumped on the bandwagon. Did you a go to the World bit. Series? No. Okay, good. I played in the World Series. Really? It killed me. Yeah. After reliving the 2016 World Series for a second time, it was time to play catch. Did you ever play softball or baseball? A little bit. A little bit? What, how, how old were you when you played? It's like 10. So, do you watch baseball at all? I lose interest a little bit. I don't have a lot of time anymore, but I used to watch, like growing up, I used to watch it as a kid yeah. with my dad. So what could baseball do to be more entertaining? Because unfortunately, a lot of young people aren't playing baseball anymore. What do you think might make it more appealing to kids? I mean, I think they like to play it. Yeah. I mean, just watching it, it could be, yeah, a little boring, so long. And one of the reasons too, we started going to White Sox game is it's definitely more family oriented than the Cubs. Yeah. Cubs is like, a, you know, a party. These guys are pretty athletic. They love everything, but I wouldn't, I didn't let them play this year. Cause I was like, yeah, it's kind of expensive, all the equipment and all of that. Yeah. So I think like just to be in the facility, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Playing catch with Alma was great, but the whole time her kids were running around the facility having a blast and they wanted a chance to play baseball too. You want to put it in your hand? Yeah. That's actually for you to keep. Oh, no way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. My glove is for you. 